What's up, guys? This is Alex from Double Move Sports, and I am back today to break down Adam Thielen's 2020 fantasy football value. Adam Thielen was suggested by I'm the Goat in our YouTube comments. So I'm the Goat. Thank you for your suggestion. And as always, if you're watching and you have a player you want to see me break down next, go ahead and drop that player's name in the comments below. Before I jump in, be sure to hit that subscribe button below. Now let's go ahead and talk about Adam Thielen. Adam Thielen has had an incredible NFL journey. He went from an undrafted free agent out of Minnesota State to a two-time Pro Bowler and one of the top wide receivers in the entire NFL. Back in 2018, Thielen had 113 receptions for 1,373 yards and nine touchdowns. He finished as the wide receiver seven in PPR formats. Fast forward to 2019, and fantasy owners were very, very disappointed as Adam Thielen dealt with a hamstring injury on one of the lowest volume passing offenses in the entire NFL, finishing with a measly 30 receptions for 418 yards and six touchdowns on just 48 targets. Adam Thielen is a strong wide receiver too for fantasy football in 2020, and I really like him to finish in the top 20 at his position. First things first, Thielen does not have a long injury history, and he finished as the wide receiver 8 in 2017, and as I mentioned before, he bumped that up to the wide receiver 7 in 2018. He still showed some of that high upside in 2019, posting 6 touchdowns and just 7 full games played. In addition, option 1B in the passing game, Stephon Diggs, was traded to Buffalo this offseason, and he's going to be replaced by first round draft pick Justin Jefferson. The Minnesota Vikings should have much more of a clear wide receiver 1, wide receiver 2 situation in 2020 rather than the 1A, 1B situation that it was considered to be previously. The biggest knock on Thielen is the passing volume in this offense. And yes, the volume through the air was brutally low in 2019, but there are several reasons to believe that that is going to rise in 2020. Let's talk about 2019 first. The Vikings were 30th in the NFL in pass attempts, throwing the ball just 466 times. Offensive coordinator Kevin Stefanski left town to take the Browns' head coaching job, and the Vikings have brought on Gary Kubiak as their offensive coordinator and likely play caller. Just to give you a little picture of Kubiak's coaching career, his last four seasons as a head coach were spent with Matt Schaub and the Texans and Peyton Manning and the Broncos. There were two with the Texans and two with the Broncos, and over those last four seasons as a head coach, his teams averaged 590 pass attempts per season. So like I mentioned earlier, the Vikings threw the ball just 466 times last season. Kubiak averaged 590 pass attempts on his teams over his past four seasons as a head coach. And in addition to that, if you go all the way back to 2018 in Kirk Cousins' first season with the Vikings, he threw the ball 606 times. Now, I'm not saying the Vikings are going to throw the ball close to 600 times in 2020, but my point here is that the pass volume will drastically increase. I think the bare minimum of pass attempts in this offense is 500 in 2020, and I think it's much more likely that it's closer to 525, maybe it even pushes the 550 range. Having said that, there's going to be somewhere from 60 to 100 additional targets to go around in this offense in 2020. And Adam Thielen is going to be a huge beneficiary of those targets. Now, the days of drafting Adam Thielen to be a top 10 fantasy wide receiver might be long gone, but he still will be a very strong wide receiver too in 2020. And I'm putting all my chips in on Adam Thielen as a top 20 wide receiver for the 2020 season. Again, this is Alex from Double Move Sports, and we'll see you next time.